Hello everybody! So this is the uh, first installment of my Orchid haul and i just like to uh, give you an idea on um, some of the uh, new acquisitions that I got from buying and also some gifts from friends and now um, let's look at some on some of the uh, blooms and spikes before we go to the new acquisitions so looking at this one, as you have guessed, this is a bulbophyllum. And guess what? There are moving parts on this one. See? There are definitely moving parts. The wind is actually moving the flower a lot. But um it's very nice and it's so amazing that the like the uh, lip bounces a lot and it's so hairy and the polinia is currently exposed as you can see that that's a sign that the bulb of film is in full bloom it just opened Yeah, so it def definitely a nice blush on the flowers and on the um, on the uh, petals and a yellow tinge cream yellow uh, coloring on the petals. Um, the ID the tag on this one is um, Bulbophyllum daisy chain. It's a primary hybrid of two species, which which are Macoyanum and Comingii. All right. So that's nice. All right. And there's another spike ongoing. Yeah. As you could see here. Yeah. So that's exciting. And I'm, I will try to um, to pollinate this guy. If I will be able to make a seed, uh, create a seed pod out of it. And also because I've heard that the maturation of the seed pods on this ones are just like two months something like that really quick and um, they grow really fast so yeah why not yeah and it's growing really well I already divided this into three plants and um, yeah I'm really excited with this one it's just so fast growing yeah and also I, this is just a um, what can I say about this one? Oh, the, yeah this is was uh, I just got this recently from Louisiana Orchid Connection and this is a uh, Equestris Forma Alba Crosswind Bellina Forma Alba so this is how the orchid looks like and we expect since one of the parents is Bellina it would be a fragrant blue orchid. Okay, so uh, yeah, and um, you see the the roots are growing crazy. Yeah, and it's in spike, two spikes, and they were not there when I bought it, and then suddenly they're here. They're fast growing. Yeah. So within just a couple of weeks, they spiked out like that. Yeah. Very exciting. All right, so let's go on to the, um, oh, wait, wait, there's the other one that I also got from Louisiana Orchid Connection. And this is the Palinopsis pulchra, which I will make a separate, separate feature um, because I did a, uh, um, I did a uh, time-lapse video on this one. It's really hard to, um, to take a picture, this one. So here's a photo for reference for the Palinopsis pulchra. Because it's pointing downwards because naturally they do that because they are natural species from the Philippines and they attract pollinators from downstairs from the tree 
you know, from atop the tree. So that's why. Okay, so it's a very small plant, but um, it has a spike, and then it gave me, um, uh, what do you call that? A flower. But uh, I'll, yeah, I'll do a separate video on this one very soon. Okay. And then these are the new guys here. So this is um, Pulcherima charpor charporensis. I think the, the 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 spelling is wrong, but um, I'll put a caption for the name. So here is the photo for Doritis Pulcherima variety champorensis. And there are like two plants here. I just, I got this from eBay. Two new plants, yeah. And uh, already at this small size, it could already bloom. So I'm so excited with this one. And it's a vigorous grower. I know it, it was named before as a uh, Doritis. Yeah, the, the, no, Doritinopsis or something like that. No, not. it's a species. So it should be the Dori... Um, I'll put the caption in a way. <laughs> So this is from Thailand and this is the uh, Peloric, Peloric yellow form of the uh, usually purple form. So um, I'm excited with this one and it's naturally Peloric meaning, meaning it's like a genetic mutation. In this case a natural genetic uh, mutation for Chaparensis because Peloric uh, features could also be brought about by hybridization. You know, looking for the sibling uh, or the or the seedling that has these characteristics, but this one was just uh, a naturally occurring species from Thailand. All right, and uh, the next one would be this one, and so this is so um, uh, popular nowadays. This is also species I got from eBay. This is uh, Pelinopsis bellina. Here is a photo of the Phelanopsis Pelina, very deliciously sweet, fragrant orchid. And um, this is one of the um, very fragrant, sweet, um, um, as other people would say, delicious scent of an orchid. I actually had uh, already sniffed this before because I went to Al's Orchids in Virginia. And he has like a big Bellina and a big Violacea Phelanopsis they smell great like you know it fills the whole greenhouse with their fragrance so i'm so excited with this one these are two seedlings and um yeah they're growing new roots and they seem to be happy uh, in in moss and in high humidity okay all right so that's the uh, second uh, new orchid and my other New orchid, the last uh, new orchid on this um, first uh, part of my orchid hole is the Phelanopsis hieroglyphica. So here are the photos for Phelanopsis hieroglyphica. And as you could see, the flowers are quite very beautiful because of the intricate patterns on its petals. And as you closely look at this second picture, the details are really marked all over the five petals on the star-shaped flower. So what can I say about this one? Oh, the, this one is basically known to be called um, Phelanopsis hieroglyphica because the patterns on its petals look like hieroglyphs. And if you know about Egyptian ancient civilization, they have their own form of ancient writing uh, which is which are hieroglyphs, you no? Know? So on you know pyramids, you know those tombs of the pharaohs and every you know those things, and they can look like that. Yeah, they can resemble. Of course, they don't mean anything because there are natural patterns on these flowers, and I don't know uh, what uh, were they thinking. I mean, the plants uh, in terms of natural selection. What would be the advantage of having hieroglyph like? symbols on your petals to attract pollinators it's so amazing just 
thinking about it, how that happened, you know? Anyway, yeah, so I'm so excited with this one. It's relatively bigger compared to the other two. Well, it's a relatively bigger plant anyway, you know? But of course, the Belina could get really big in terms of the size of the leaves. The flowers, not really. They're n normal size. She's in the normal -ish, something like that. And that's it. Yeah. So that's the uh, Phalaenopsis hy uh, hieroglyphica. I don't know. My dog is acting up. Anyway, so um, this is a gift from a friend because he had a friend that also had to move out to a new place and have to give up some of his orchids and I kind of like rehabilitated this one so it's much more of a rescue orchid because it was full of uh, millibugs <laughs> so I fixed the problem by spraying it with water um, um, mixed in with the uh, so one liter of water mixed in with a um, couple of drops yeah multiple drops maybe 10 drops of baby oil and then it soaked up the mealybugs they died they just come off and then flowed with the oil water mixture and they're gone yeah just like that so easy anyway so it's all clean now and then I'll put some media in it and this because I was trying to observe this one so it wouldn't have all of those weird leftovers of the millibugs you know like eggs and stuff like you know hatchlings yeah, thinking about that makes me get creeped out a little bit anyway so this one is another and also it doesn't have a tag but it kind of looks like a species because the leaves don't look similar to it kind of looks like the leaves on the pulchra i hope it's not a pulchra i hope it's another one but i don't care but it's another pulchra you know yeah the more the merrier right and but definitely it looks like a species of a primary hybrid yeah let's cross our fingers in that one and also another untagged um orchid that i got from uh, i rescued from that friend is this one it uh, has like a, a purple tinge on the um, the edge of the of the uh, of the leaves. Uh, it has also mealybugs. I sprayed it also, and then it's gone. And then I think I would have to repot this now. Okay, it has some damage. I think this was really getting a rough um, uh, time with the uh, previous owner. Anyway. So there you go. So that's basically my orchid hole with my rescue orchids. I will upload the uh, the next few um, orchids really soon. And yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And like my videos. And also, I would appreciate for my um, silent viewers, if you would like to share your thoughts and um, anything, the concerns about this orchids. And if you have your own videos, also share it on the comment section below. Alright, thank you for watching and have a great day. Happy growing, Orchid friends. Bye-bye.